<laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> What the hell is this? What is this? What is this, man? Alright, all right. so Jump Force for all the people that went out and got their ultimate additions for Jump Force. I'm sorry, but after seeing the footage that I did on YouTube and on Twitter, I'm actually disgusted. This is some Andromeda. This is some Mass Effect Andromeda levels of horrible. This is some pineapple pizza, fish tacos, toenails inside of a, 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 a chamber of stew levels of horrible. What is this? Like, look, I was out there being one of the main advocates saying, man, this is probably going to be a good game. But then more and more, I realized that this is one of the reasons why I stopped talking about it so much. More and more, I realized that this game just ain't worth it. Like, I'm, I'm over here a college student, right? And obviously that mean that meaning that you know I have a little bit of a tight you know grasp on money at, at the moment but that's neither here or there but that being said for me personally when I go out and try getting a game it's not because of it's not just because it looks good because obviously jump force looks like trash it's not because it plays good which jump force doesn't have it's mainly well because it looks good I gotta say, when I play a game, it doesn't matter if it, it's a button mashing, a hell, kind of like Storm 4 or Xenoverse. If it looks a speck better than Jump Force, then I don't care I'm getting. Because that's one of the main things that holds people together. It's if the characters, the models, the story, and everything are nice and tidy at some degree, at least a 70 passing, all right? But this, this is, what is this? When you look at the characters and they all moving all weirdly, you see Frieza flying up in the air. You see Sanji doing instant transmission sliding off on the screen as if this is a, a freaking dang and Rapa cutscene. Like, what is this? This is horrible. This is this is disgusting, man. And I expected more from it. And and this is something I I believe needs to really be said. Obviously, I don't know too much about it, but I've talked to a couple of people about it. I talked to. Some people, um, on the, while they were streaming, uh, one of the big names uh, f from that I can remember was Angry Travis. Like we talked about it a tiny bit, like while he was streaming, and I, I got, I got kind of a theme. There's kind of been a theme going on with Jump and with all the companies and whatnot making anime games now. It's just like they put the lowest of efforts in a lot of their games, but there's those small companies that manage to somehow make it out there and throw out their games and you know they make some banging stuff like they're good and whatever they are really really small and those percentages are rare but you got so many companies and whatnot like from dimps and whatnot that be putting so many of these trash ass games out in the market and it's like why like this new Dragon Ball game that's coming out, hopefully, like it looks okay. Like it doesn't look anything up to the candle of Storm, which is like a little bit of a downgrade because it is made from kind of the same people. But I don't know, man. I'm just looking at all these games and I'm just like, dude, what is going on? Jump Force looks like, it looks like a mistake, man. It looks like they did not put any time, any effort in it because they thought, uh, uh a couple of idiots from the anime world are just gonna buy this game with no second thought because they're a bunch of they just love nostalgia and love goku and whatnot over a year i've been on social media only a year just a year maybe a year and a half i don't know it's been a little bit but over that time i've learned and grew and grew in my knowledge of how this in industry works from people that are actually inside of it to people that are actually working on stuff and you know, I've learned that it's not all pixie dust. 
a lot of these industries are literally just making games half-assed in one year or so maybe three I, one year is a little bit of a stretch but making these games un incomplete and whatnot to people to kids and whatnot for them to play when they're trash and it's like why and you just wonder and and it's probably because well people just don't care nostalgia like i said earlier and whatnot just blinds people into thinking man this is a good game i'm gonna just get it and that shit needs to stop because it's gotten too much it's gotten to the point where it's like so when are we gonna get, actually get a triple a game when will that ever happen i've been wondering that for dragon ball for the longest of times until fighters came out will this game that's coming out actually be good what does this mean for jump games? Because at this point, I'd rather take the Nintendo DS game, the Nintendo DS title, than anything that they've put out on the PlayStation for jump at all. And that's, that's disappointing. 